Today, I will show you how to create DOM light and set up HDRI map in SketchUp. This is Monica from edac.org. We can use DOM light to create lighting for interior and exterior scenes. I will show you how to do it flawlessly. This is an interior scene. So far, we don't have any materials in the scene due to the fact that we'll focus only on the light settings. Let's move on to the asset editor. Here we can set the lights, materials, geometry, and render settings. Let's move on to the lights, and here we have sunlight. Every time we start working in V-Ray, the sunlight appears. We will not be using sunlight this time, so I turn it off by clicking on the sunlight icon. Then I go to the render settings. Here I will focus on the material overwrite. If we want to set up lights, it's good to overwrite all the materials in the scene. That's why I turned on. As we can see, the override color is light gray. We can change it to a lighter color. Let's see what the render looks like. The visualization is done, and as we can see, we have black color due to the fact that we have no lights in the scene. Now we can create the first light. It is dome light. To do this, I click on the dome light icon at the top bar. Then I choose any point in the scene. Dome light can be positioned inside or outside the building. It's done. I go to the asset editor and we can notice that there is a new light called dome light. It's natural external light that will light the interior of our project. To set this light in the best possible way, it's good to use HDRI maps. One of the most popular sites for HDR maps is the polyheaven.com. Here we can download HDR maps for free. Let's check the top maps. The first map is the apps field. I click on it and download the file. We can choose 4K resolution. If I choose 1K resolution, then the map will be in a low quality. And if I choose 20K resolution, it will be a very heavy file. It's good to choose 4K file. Let's download this. After downloading, I go to the Asset Editor panel. I click on the dumb light and go to the color texture, HDR. As we can see, the map is loaded. It's a basic map from V-Ray. I want to replace it with my HDRI map from the folder. That's why I click on the folder icon and open it. The map is loaded. I go back to the previous settings. I will change the shape of the map from hemisphere to the sphere. This will make these black spaces disappear and then I will increase the intensity. The dumb lights should most often be set as a high value. I will set it to 100. Now the light is much brighter. Let's see how the interior looks like. We can see that we have HDRI map outside the window and the light falls inside. Now let's focus on the light position. We can always change the position of a dumb light. If I want to change it, I have to go to the settings in the Asset Editor panel. I go to the dumb light and then turn on Use Transform function. With this option turned on, we can rotate the dumb lights in the scene. Let's try to rotate it by 90 degrees. And render. Now that the map has been rotated, the scene is a little brighter. Additionally, there is a sunlight in the interior. Remember that HDRI maps also contain sunlight, so we don't have to use separate sunlight in the scene. Depending on our preferences, we can set the position of the light. I will undo this rotation and move on to the asset editor. We can see that the position of the dome light is the same as it was before. I will turn off the use transform function and this time I change the position of the map in a different way. Let's move on to the texture HDR. I click on the blue rectangle. 
Then I move on to the placement texture and here I can change the map position. In the texture placement, we can rotate horizontally and rotate vertically. I want to rotate the map in the horizontal direction, so I will set the values. It's best to set them according to the preview using a progressive or interactive render. I will set the values to 70 and let's see the result. The render is created. If I compare the previews and the newest view, we can see that the HDRI map is rotated and the interior lighting has also been changed. Note that the view outside the window still needs to be improved due to the fact that I have a lot of grass outside the window. I think it's a good idea to lower this map down. If we want to do this, we can change it in the 2D transformation tab. Here at the offset UV, we can change the position of the map. It's enough to change the value 0 here to a slightly higher value, for example 0 0.05. After entering 0, 0, 005, the map is lowered, and we can see that at the very top this map repeats itself, but it will not be visible in the scene anyway. We can change the value. The higher the value, the more it changes. I will set the small value 0 0.04. Let's see what the view outside the window looks like. The map is lowered. Thanks to this, we do not have as much grass outside the window as it was before. The lighting is still too dim. We can change it in two different ways. There is a window on the right with different layers. Let's turn on the exposure layer. We can click on the layers icon and choose exposure. We can increase or decrease the exposure. We can also add more light sources. Let's add rectangular lights. One rectangular light will be outside the window and the other one will be behind the camera. I zoom out the view and then create a light outside the window. I rotate it so that the light falls inside. I click with the right mouse button, choose to flip along the blue axis. It's fine. I click on the scene 1 and render. I set up the light by the window, but note that there is no dome light in the scene. Let's move on to the asset editor window. Let's see that rectangular light is a white plane positioned next to the window. The dome light cannot fall inside the scene. Therefore, we should go to the Options tab and set rectangular light as invisible, so that the white plane disappears. Now, the dome light will fall inside the room. If you are working with V-Ray 5, it's good to go to Render Elements and turn on the light mix. Just click on the Create Asset, Render Elements, and Light Mix. Thanks to this, after creating the visualization, we can change the intensity and color of the light. The render is created. If I go to the light mix on the right side, I can see the lighting from the dome light and from the rectangle light. When these lights are combined, we have a very interesting effect. Let's see that these faces on the cabinet and the sofa are too dark. Therefore, it's good to add a subtle light from behind the camera. I zoom out and create the light from behind the camera. For now, I place them on the face on the wall and then rotate them by 90 degrees. I will change the dimensions of the light. Let's decrease the U size and increase V size value. Let's change the intensity of the light to 15 and set the light as invisible. Let's render. The scene is created. Moving on to the light mix, let's notice how the light from behind the camera changes the scene. We can decide whether we want to reduce or increase its intensity. 
In VRA5, we can change the intensity in the light mix tab, and in the older VRA versions, we can do it in the asset editor. If you are wondering why there is no glass in the window, I will give you the answer. I'll place the curtains next to the window, so the glass is no longer necessary. Let's move on to the SketchUp and put the curtains in the scene. Remember that if the material override is turned on, then I should uncheck can be overridden option in the curtain materials. Thanks to this, the materials will be visible on the visualization. The render is created and the curtains are in the scene. As we can see, they are in a very good quality. If you are wondering how to create such curtains, I invite you to the next video. If you want to learn how to set up the lights in SketchUp, check out my SketchUp V-Ray courses on edac.org. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe the channel and like the video. See you soon. Bye.